G-Red is developing all these really neat molecules that have all these different characteristics that behave differently, that uh, we've had to develop new techniques to study them, and it's getting to be very, very difficult to formulate these, to keep them stable and to be able to deliver them to the patients. They're really good there, but that means we actually have to be better. Basically, we are fighting the body to help it. From evolution point of view, the body has been trying to keep things outside of the body. Disease, viruses, molecules don't like to be in the body at 37 degrees, especially large protein, for extended period of time. And the ingeniosity for our group is to find a way of tricking the body and making sure that the drug can stay inside the body, be released inside where it needs to be. A large responsibility that we have is developing the formulation. That's what goes into the, the vial that has the drug that goes to the patient. We have to design it, the conditions, the pH, the salts and things, uh, such that it is stable long enough to be manufactured, stored, shipped, and delivered to the patient and still be in the same condition as when it left the company. Drug delivery is working very closely with early stage formulation that give us a lot of information about the stability of the molecule, the characterization of the molecule. And if you can design drug delivery system that will allow them to take, for example, a pill once a month instead of every day two or three pills, or in a case of severe eye disease, instead of having an injection with a needle in your eye every month, if you could push the envelope and make this administration be every six months, twice a year, this is a tremendous advantage for, for the patients. We really have to be exceptional in our role because G-Red is bringing us molecules that no one has had before. We are trying to concentrate our antibodies to 200, 300 or more milligrams per mil. It gets very, very hard to do that. The solutions become like honey and we try to understand why they get so viscous and they don't flow very well. It makes manufacturing difficult, it makes drug delivery difficult, it makes injections difficult. We can't predict which molecules will have the, those properties and which won't. What I really like about Genentech and the Genentech culture is the part that is given to the science. Everybody here, all my colleagues, are very, very rigorous scientists. All the ideas are developed came from very, very strong science and strong data. I'm around a lot of really smart people, really, really smart people, and it can be really intimidating. They are out of this world smart. But then you get to collaborate with them and talk to them, you have the same goals. I just love working at Genentech. I've been here so long, and it's just gotten more and more fun. If I had a hobby, I'd work here. <laughs>